Hey and welcome to Quick Tip 40. Today I'm going to be showing you SaferSign, which is a plagiarism detection assessment instrument built into Blackboard. It begins like the normal assignments tool of Blackboard with a student submission. That submission is then compared with the student cohort, with the Greater Swinburne, with other universities, both here within Australia and internationally and with the greater internet, including database searches, periodicals, etc. So it's incredibly comprehensive. I'll show you how you create a safer sign in your own Blackboard unit. Here I am. I'm going to go into the Assessments folder. And under the Assessments menu, I'm going to choose to create a safe assignment. Now, somewhat like the normal assignments feature of Blackboard, You've got some information to fill in here, including the title, number of marks, instructions, etc. I'm going to do this quite quickly. And scrolling down, there's some stuff here about checking. So if you refer back, what's going to happen is this document will be checked with a whole lot of sources. That process can be quite time intensive. And I've heard reports of it taking up to 24 hours. My own experience is it takes more like 5 or 10 minutes, but I think you need to factor that into your own thinking, that it could be as long as 24 hours before the uh, plagiarism detection has happened, and you can get some reports back. Alright, so I've created a student uh, safe assignment. Uh, the process for submitting assignments is fairly simple. I won't cover that here, but it's very much like the students would submit a normal assignment. What I do want to show you, however, is after a submitted assignment has arrived back and has been checked for plagiarism, what does the teacher get back? So let's assume a student has submitted an assignment. In the needs marking area it will appear then, it will list it, here's an example, as a safe assignment. I can click on that student submission to see what they've submitted and what plagiarism has been detected. So this is the safe assignment report that comes back. It shows a number of things. The name of the student. It gives you an opportunity to download that file. And then I'll just show you that quickly. There it is there. This happens to be a Word document the student submitted. And indeed there are bits of text uh, uh, that have been copied from various internet sources. So with that in mind, let's have a look at what the plagiarism detection report shows for this assignment submission. There's an area here where I can look at the safe assignment report, which does a breakdown then of where it feels there may be potential plagiarism. And I use the word potential here because I'm going to put um, this highlight all button and scroll the screen down. At the top of the screen it shows where it feels that you may have breached plagiarism, where you might have copied this text from. And then lower down, the words out of the student submitted text and anywhere that it feels that they've been plagiarised has been highlighted here. Indeed, if I click on a block of text like this one here, it shows where it feels that that has been matched from, what the student submitted in this first box, and what the internet source has, so that you can compare one against the other. Indeed, let me use this one as an example. I can actually open up that internet source and compare for myself whether those words are a match or not. So this is where the subjective nature of things comes into it because you now have the job as educator to decide whether those copies are appropriate or not. Have they been properly cited? Is it within the nature of the assessment to to cite and reference materials from others or, or are you expecting it in the work to be entirely novel. And that, of course, will vary very much between the nature of the assessment and, and the student cohort and, I guess, its expectations. So these plagiarism reports are only a tool for you to do a more reasoned assessment. But what they do do is show, for instance, where one student might have completely copied the work of another or where they have cited uh, bits of text from such that you can compare that they've used the right referencing guides etc. So I hope that's a useful tool and I encourage you to try it in your own units.